Okay. Can you just say and spell your first and last name? Yep, Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S, Garabedian, G-A-R-A-B-E-D-I-A-N. Okay, perfect. And you can just look at me, too. Okay. Um, and what's your year in school and also title uh, yep. with the tour guide team? Yeah, so I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm the... Um, all right. I'm the program co-coordinator for the Torah team, and um, I'm a senior at the university, and... An engineering major, correct? Yep, and I'm an engineering major, industrial and systems engineering. Okay, and how long have you been involved in the Torah Guide team? I've been involved since um, my freshman year, so that's about seven semesters now. We're going in the seventh semester right now. Do you remember anything about when you applied to be a tour guide in that whole process? Yeah, I remember um, I had to take, I remember on the application, I had to take a picture of a place on campus and write a description of why this meant something to me and why it was special to the university also. Okay, and so in terms of the tour guides that have just been starting, they kind of are just starting tours this week, but they've been involved for a while now, correct? Yeah, so they've been involved for about seven weeks or so right now. They were hired back in um, just before Thanksgiving. They found out they were hired, but they really didn't start the training process until we got back in the last week of January. So right after that, they hit the ground running for about um, six to seven weeks they've been going. And they're actually, we had our first three tour guides out on tour today. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. How did they do? They did really good. They All three of them got really good reviews. So they all got the green light to move on. Perfect. And do you think that that's a common consensus with the entire new team? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. I think people are really impressed with how well they're doing. You know, our training coordinator Lucho has done a really good job of you know giving them the skills that they need to really take out there and give the best stories that they can to these um, visitors. And as one of the heads of the program, how have you been involved in training? Yep. So I kind of take a backseat role to the training. I'm not directly involved. That's Lucho's um, area of expertise, but I'm always there along with um, Joe Corzab, who's our other program coordinator, and the rest of the uh, executive board to kind of step in where needed. So we'll help them go out on you know extra mock tours if needed to practice their facts and figures. Um, we'll help them come up with solutions if we have tours that are struggling with anything. We'll help them really do kind of pull everything together so that Lucho's not completely stressed out trying to figure it out because it is a lot of work in a very short period of time. Coming from you know the outside and being involved for seven semesters, what do you think was probably the hardest part or something that they've had to overcome, something maybe they've come to you for help with? Um, I think one of the hardest parts for them is incorporating their personal stories um, and kind of making that tour from the next step from fact-based to personal-based. And I think it really is one of the hardest steps for everyone because, you know, you can learn all the facts you need to know by reading out of the manual. We have a very detailed manual that talks all about the different facts and figures about the university. And that's great for the, um, you know, students and parents that are going to be on tour to know about because I think it is very important. But to kind of take it to the next level and make it from just a tour to, you know, a real experience while you're here at URI. So for someone who's not involved in the tour guiding team, a personal story is just... Things you've experienced at URI, fun things you've gone through, cool classes you've taken, professors that have always been really interesting um, that you've had. So that could be your favorite professor, you know, what have you experienced on the quad, whether it be, you know, our lobster bake every spring or drive-in movies where they bring in the brig, you know, 50-foot blow-up movie screen. Um, there's all these different cool things that, you know, you are living the life of a URI student and a lot of these people want to know what am I going to, not just what am I going to do for my studies and stuff, but what am I going to live while I'm here and what are my son or daughter going to live while they're here. Exactly. Um, and how many new hires are actually starting this week? Uh, so we hired a total of 38 new tour guides. Um, I believe we have 17 on schedule this week, so about half of them will be going out this week, and then half of them will be go the other half will be going out the week afterwards. Is there a way that you divided that? Who goes out now? Who goes out later? No, we just had to go by when people are available, um, and when we can have uh, some of the trainers in the program shadow them also to make sure that they are doing good while they are there. So it's really based on just when people are available. And what do you mean by shadow? So the trainers are the people that are really you know structured and focused on helping them to the next level and really assisting Lucho um, on the individual day-to-day -day tasks. So what they do is they follow them on tour and make sure that they're able to answer all the questions correctly, um, you know, know their facts and figures. If they get stuck, they can s jump in if needed, but we really try to tell them, you know, you're there just to stay behind. Um, and then after the tour, they'll give them pointers and tips on, what, you know, what went well, what needs some improvement, and so on. 
And now, so for people who are, you know, maybe considering or maybe even a little intimidated about the tour guide program mm -hmm. and everything that you have to go through, do you have any words of encouragement or even to the new tour guides as well as they, like, embark yeah. on the new journey, yeah. why you should get involved or what the benefits are, what it entails? It's just so much fun once you get involved. You really kind of get that, you know, opportunity now to be actually giving, um, you know, parents and students tours. And, you know, I know it's a lot to get through the training, and it seems like a long, drawn-out process, but, you know, everyone gets through it. You know, we don't, we don't, we always will help someone get through it, no matter what it takes. And then getting to that point where you can, um, you know, convince parents and students to come to URI, and you'll have people that come up to you on Welcome Day, for example, when we have all of our accepted students and say, I made my deposit because of the tour that you gave me, or when you're here next year and you have a freshman, say, hey, you were my tour guide. It really knows that you had an impact on um, someone here and that you really kind of changed their life because this will be where they're spending the next four years of their life, really. And aside from personal stories, what is like the special recipe that you teach new tour guides on how to help people make mm -hmm. that decision to come here? I always tell people, be yourself. You know, you're you are a student. You live here. You go to school here. Um, you've lived the life, and you know what it's all about. Just be yourself. Talk to them. You know what you would want to talk about, um, and really, they will you know love you for just for that. Cool. Anything else you want to add? I think that's it. Oh, perfect. Awesome.